Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to be opening this jewelry making advent calendar with you guys. This is from Check Beads Exclusive, a subscription that I've been subscribed to for a very long time. And I'm really excited to open this. I've never seen a jewelry making advent calendar before. I've always just seen them with like candy and some other things. So let's do this. I'm super excited. Now, I have some information to tell you guys. You can get this advent calendar up till the beginning of December and it's currently 20% off and it has eight pieces of jewelry that you can make in this calendar. How cool is that? So I'm going to show you what it looks like here. It's really cute. It can be hung on the wall. There's a ribbon at the top, of course. Okay, so here's all what it looks like. It's filled with a whole bunch of baggies. And um, I have a little piece of paper here that it came with, with some information on it. It says, congratulations, you are the owner of an exclusive DIY advent calendar 2020 with check beads. Open our advent calendar every day and discover new beads and findings for jewelry making. At the end of each week, you will be able to create a surprise piece of jewelry following our easy video tutorials. That is so awesome. Free video tutorials will be available on December 7th, 14th, 21st, and 24th. On, and it right there, is the website. How cool is that? So, at the end of each week, I will be doing a project. Really cool. And there's eight projects in there. That is so awesome. And again, guys, I will have this link down there below. So, so let's go ahead and see what's in pocket number one. Maybe I should move this down a little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. It's a check cab. It is milky white, like moonstone color. That is super gorgeous. Very snowy like, like ice. Love that. Okay, that's the first thing. And I'm gonna put it back in the pouch because I'm gonna try to, you know, make the stuff. So I have to follow the days. I have to keep them organized. And then, oh, this is a cab setting. It's a little pendant bezel to glue in here. And of course, I'm going to be using E6000 glue because that's the best. That's very pretty. Okay. And then, that's day two. And then day three. Oh boy, there's a bunch of baggies here. Okay, so this is probably a whole piece right here. This is chain. It looks like my favorite... Oh, is this textured? I don't know. I have to see. My little tray's moving. It's um cable chain. There's Rolo and cable chain. They're very similar. Cable chain is more of an oval shape, and Rolo is more of round. But that's a very pretty chain. I like that. Okay, and it looks like it's maybe I'm guessing 18 inches, 18 or 20. So that's a nice link. Okay, and then we have a lobster claw clasp here. Okay, and then a split ring. Okay, that's day three. Right? Yep, that's day three. And then day four. Oh, some more of those cabs. They're so tiny. Super tiny. I wonder if these are like 10 millimeter. Those are really pretty. I like those a lot. I wonder if I could bezel those with beads. Probably have to be Delicas or something. Or 15 OC beads. Okay, that's day four. And then... Day five... We have bezels for the earrings. So here's the earring backs. And then the little cabs will be glued into these studs. That's cool. I like those. And 
And everybody would think that they're Moonstone, too, you know, because they really are, like, good quality glass. Okay, day six has multiple bags. Oh, my gosh, this is pretty. I, I got this before, I, I want to say, in the Check Beads exclusive box. It's really beautiful, but I think the one I got is um, one-sided. So one side has the AB and the other side was black but this one you can see the black right there it's coated on each side that is so bright like I don't know how well my camera is showing that but that is very bright okay and then we have a little pinch bale yeah yep that's what that is right there so I'm gonna open this up and put that onto there that's neat Oh, I wonder if that necklace is going to be interchangeable because this is a pendant, right? And then there was findings in this one, and we had earrings. So that could be like a... You can change the pendant out on either or. Okay, this one here is the fullest pocket. This is... Looks like 8 OC beads. Silver line, dark blue. Those are gorgeous. Very pretty. Okay, put that back in there. So there's going to be a string project. Right? And then we have... Oh my! These are so precious. <gasps> Both sides. They're owls. Look at that. Those are so cute. Those are beautiful. Okay, so I got those out of eight. And then, day nine. Ooh, we got some four millimeter check fire polish beads. I think this color is called Capri Blue because I have this and bicones in my stash but it's, it has an a b finish it's really pretty i should probably take some out and show you guys this is a beautiful bead i'll take a few out look at that isn't that a beautiful bead gorgeous color Right, so that was day nine, right? I'm like super forgetful. There's so many pockets. Day ten. <gasps> oh, I love these. I love check flowers. If you've watched me, you know that I have a thing for beaded flowers and for check flowers and leaves. I collect them. And these are stunning. It's a matte flower. Beautiful shape. Look at that double-sided those are cute okay that's 10 and then 11 which is my number it's an 11 findings yep we have ball head pins they're probably about an inch long Okay, there's a lot in there. And then we have these little bales, which I love these. It's like a bead with a loop on it. But it's a bale. It's very small. Those are cool. I think I've gotten these a few times from Check Beads Exclusive. I believe they come in different colors. But they're really neat. And then we have Day 12. Some more bead. Did I get everything in? Okay. These are check fire polish. This is opaque blue with, I think, azul, I want to say the coating is. It's really neat. I'll open it up and let you guys see. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen this coating on an opaque bead. I usually always see it on transparent. But it's pretty neat.
Okay. Day 12. Now we're going to 13. So I'm going to move this up. We have AB Opaque. Those are gorgeous. I love those. Oops, don't drop the bag. Those are really pretty. I like those a lot. I don't think that I see many opaque AB beads. It seems like they're mostly clear or transparent, is what I'm trying to say. But I like those. Those are cool. And then, that's 13. Day 14. So this would be another project here. Finishing of another project. There's supposed to be eight projects in here. Okay, so we have some beading wire in here. We have a lobster claw. Looks like two split rings. A jump ring. And four crimp tubes in that one. Okay. So that's 14. And day, day 15... We have, it looks like ball chain. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's for earrings. Where's the other end? It's all wrapped. Okay, there it is. These are pretty. My sister would love these. It's ball chain with cup chain, crystals in there, super sparkly, man, those look like diamonds, look at that. Those actually look very expensive. And there's the top there with loops. Those are beautiful. They're long too, I'm thinking two inches long, in case you're wondering. Okay. And that goes into 15, and then day 16, we have, oh, the findings for those, earrings. So here is a ball, earring finding post, and some jump rings. Very small, I think they're 4 millimeter. Okay goes in there and then day 17 we got some big beads we have some green pearls I love this green here is a darker green and then we have this one here which I believe is like chartreuse I love chartreuse especially with turquoise look at that pretty color and then this one here is darker. It's a larger bead. That one's pretty too. And these are Czech pearls, in case you didn't know. This comes from Czech Beads Exclusive, so all the beads are Czech. Okay, and that goes back in 17, and then day 18 has more beads. These are pearls again. I think these are 10 millimeter. Cream colored pearls. Those are pretty again. Very good quality too. Alright, we're almost to the end of week 3. Day 19. More pearls. These are 8mm. Green. I love this color. Okay. And then, day 20. More pearls. These are 8mm 
cream. Again, check pearls. I'll open them for you guys because I know sometimes when I don't open stuff, you guys get angry with me. So I'm going to open these up too. Sometimes though, I just plain old forget to open it. Those are also pretty. I don't know if you've realized this, but check pearls, they are glass. And then regular glass pearls, just the regular cheap glass pearls, they have like really big holes. Have you ever noticed that? At least, at least I've noticed that. But the check ones have more of a smaller hole. Do you see that? The hole's smaller. I would say a little smaller than one millimeter. Yeah, I think it's smaller than one millimeter. Okay. That goes into 20. And then here's the end of week three. Oh boy, there is a bunch in here. We have bead caps, a bunch of bead caps. Maybe eight millimeter, seven millimeter in size. They kind of look like snowflakes. Which is probably why they're in here. See that? They're filigree. Okay. And then we have these crystal rondelles. I don't use these very often. But I have seen people use them in bead weaving. But that's the thing, you know. To have something for bead weaving, you have to have a lot of it. So that's pretty. It looks like rhinestones. There's four of those. Okay, that's the end of week three, day 21. And now, 22. Oh boy, there's a lot of bags in this one. A lot of bags. We have, looks like an extender chain. Okay, and then we have a lobster claw clasp, four crimp tubes, right there in the bottom, and then a split ring, I think it's a six millimeter, bead stringing wire, crimp covers, and I think a four millimeter jump ring right there. So that's a lot. It's probably for a whole project right there. It's day 22. And then day 21 has a bunch of more stuff. Oh, this is gold. Okay. So this has two jump rings. Those are so tiny. They might be three millimeter. And then a six millimeter gold split ring, a gold lobster claw clasp, a bail. I don't know if I would call this a pinch bail. You do have to pinch to open it. Maybe it is a pinch bail. And then a chain. And this looks like it. It's the same kind, the cable Rolo kind of chain. And gold. I think it's just a tad bit bigger than the other one. And then this really cute charm, which I definitely got to open this. It's embedded with crystals. That's cute. Look at that. Has crystals and enamel on it. Okay. Day 23 was totally packed. Now let's see what's in day... 24, the last day. It is a ribbon. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit because I don't want to unravel it. It looks like an organza ribbon. Yeah, that's pretty. I like the size of it too. Okay. And then a really cute charm. Oh my gosh. This is precious. It's a stocking and it looks like the whole thing is enameled.
Yes, that's so cute. There's a present and a candy cane there in the stocking. Alright. So that was the last day. This is so cool. This is a really awesome idea. I've never seen a jewelry making advent calendar before. Have you guys? Have you ever seen one? I haven't. So again, I will have a link for this advent calendar down there below in the description bar. And it's currently 20% off and you can get it up till the beginning of December. So make sure you hurry up and get it. This is a really good gift idea. I would totally give this as a gift. I like gifts that it's something that you can make. I, I think that's so cool. Maybe that's just because I'm a beater and like into crafting and stuff like that, but I just think that's the coolest gift. And um, I have to tell you that uh, one year for Christmas, my mom gave me, when I was a little kid, it was, I think, a Klutz friendship bracelet book that had embroidery floss in it. It came with stuff in it. And that was like part of my my journey into jewelry making. So giving something like this could really inspire somebody and even change their life. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is so cool. And again, one more time, I will have a link for this down there below in the description bar. You can get it up till the end of November. So hurry up and go get it. It's 20% off. This is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that you had an awesome Thanksgiving and an even better Christmas. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And make sure that you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.